We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the parish, we have a candy jar that sits right in the front office where people come in and out to do their business at the parish. And I remember a mother coming in one day with two little girls, and they knew the routine. The jar was sitting there, and as mom was talking to the parish receptionist and to me, the little girls were looking at the candy jar. There was one piece of candy left because, as you know, candy disappears, and it wasn't only for those people coming in and out of the rectory for their parish business. And so I looked at the one piece of candy and I thought, hand it to mom, mom will know what to do. So she took the candy, unwrapped it, and she gave it to the oldest girl who was probably about six years old. You should have seen the look of terror on the younger girl's face. She's about four and you could see the tears welling up in her eyes as she's thinking, I'm not going to get any. And then the unthinkable happened. That little six-year-old girl took the piece of candy her mother gave her and she bit it in two and she shared that candy with her little sister. I thought I would never do that for my brother, not in a million years. I would actually put it in my mouth and I'd probably stick out my tongue and say, ah, I got everything, you didn't get anything. At that moment, I realized that the opposite of selfishness is sacrifice. The opposite of selfishness is sacrifice. She went with less so that her little sister could have more. When we look at Jesus and his way of the cross, all along the way, it's that very same sacrifice. He goes with less so that we can have more, so much more. He goes with less love. He's hated, he's despised so that we could be loved forever. He's mistreated and abused. He's hurt and wounded so that we can be healed and free of pain and sorrow and suffering. He goes with less life so that we can have abundant life. He goes with less love so that we can be loved forever. Walk with Jesus in his way of the cross and you'll see he is stripped, he, he's uh, whittled down, he's made small. He goes with so much less even to becoming animal-like on the cross. At the end of that way on Calvary, almost animal-like nailed to the cross where he gives up all humanity and everything so that we become like God so that we can share in God's life in the fullness of grace. The way of the cross is really Jesus' way of showing us the way to true and unending happy, happiness. The opposite of selfishness is sacrifice. And when we sacrifice ourselves for the good, for the benefit of others, without counting the cost to ourselves, happiness is not just given to other people, it's completely, totally ours.